What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Khalifa Saad, and I'm back with another video. For those of you that have been paying attention and watching the videos, you know that I am back in Japan, back at home. And it's back to the hustle and the grind, everyday grind of what is considered to be work. My adult life. I hate adulting. But anyway, I'm glad to be back in Japan. I'm glad to be back home to my own stuff. Although I do love spending time with Andy and Taz. It was great seeing them. But I do have responsibilities here in Japan that I need to uh, adhere to. So had to come back home. Today is Saturday. Well, I don't know if it'll be Saturday. It won't be Saturday when you guys get this video. But anyway, I got home on Thursday and chilled out on Friday. Today I am headed up to G Crest to meet with Makoto and Fu. We have to do some work on the bike. I got to pick up some paperwork and I'm taking them the souvenirs uh, that I brought back from Thailand for them. So you guys just don't go nowhere. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on the post notification bell to all so that you know when I drop a new video, share, like, comment, all of that. I'm gonna take you guys up to the shop and I'll turn you back on then. All right, let's see if we can get you guys some of this bike vlog footage. I switched out my microphones and I changed the position of where the microphone was. I was watching a couple YouTube channels and uh, someone suggested that you put it directly under the vent, which is right in front of your mouth, because for some reason, wind does not get into that area. Not 100% sure if that's correct or not, but we're gonna put it to the test right now. I'm sure you guys can hear me when I'm not moving. It's when I'm moving that's the problem, especially when I jump on the expressway. And I should have went and got gas. Oh well. We'll see what happens. But like I said, you know, I had to come back to Japan to my responsibilities. Glad to be back. If I could pick everything that I have up move it to Thailand like move my entire life to Thailand I would do so but considering that that can't happen then I'm Gucci but if I could live in any place well, I won't say any place well any place within Asia other than Japan it would be Thailand tune it afterwards and the shop here the only shop that I'll trust doing a tune on my bike which is uh, 414 they don't have the uh, well they have the tools and equipment to do it but their bench for running the dyno is a standard bench for standard length bikes. Unfortunately, I stretched mine, I won't say unfortunately, but I stretched it before I thought of all of this. So I won't be able to do a cat delete nor tune the bike. But it's cool because it's a Hayabusa. <laughs> Regardless of whether 
but not unleash all the power that is able to make is still a monster of a bike and I don't think I would ever ride it to its full potential as it is right now so unleashing the beast would have been just for ego just to say I, you know, I had an unlocked bike but anyway I'm going to shut you guys off for a minute and I'll turn you back on as I get on the road this place right here always bottlenecks because no one wants to let anyone turn into this supermarket right here I've been sitting here for almost five minutes. I guess that car decided it didn't want to turn after all. But I'm almost at Makoto's now. It's been a minute. sound like if I unlocked it but considering that I can't I guess I'm not gonna worry about it put this building up in a month like a month and a half I'm telling you when it comes to construction Japanese don't play they went from zero to 100% complete in about a month and a half maybe almost two months but they build everything in a factory so it's prefabbed and then they bring it out and they set it up like an erector set. Very interesting. Oh well, I'm almost at the shop right now. So once I get to the shop, I will cut you guys back on. All right, so I made it up to the shop. Now I'm about to go ahead and give Makoto and Fu their uh, souvenirs from Thailand. But I'm gonna have to run in this B-roll because we got music going on in the shop and I don't want to get hit with copyright. So, don't go nowhere. Hey, which one is which? It don't 
matter. One take, one, one take out. So Malik decided to show up and put food to work. And now here Fu is installing a spoiler. Not so much the GoPro. <laughs> well, while Fu works on that, I'm going to go ahead and shut this camera off because I can hear the music playing in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I'm not trying to get hit with copyright, so I'll cut you guys back on as soon as food is done so you can see the finished product.
they're gonna say hair the fuck up, fool. I heard. You in the way. I heard. <laughs> <laughs> he just said it nicely. Yeah, he just fucking just out of my way. Fuck shit. <laughs> yeah, that's just what exactly happened. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. I think it's on there. Yeah, it's Yamaha. Huh? Yamaha. But I would just go ahead and put one here yeah, and, and then here. one there. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Too. As you figure that's where all the down force is gonna be anyway.
think it's that much on the one uh, he did on Yoshi's. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> but he doesn't ride fast. Yeah. I like somebody. Malik does. <laughs> you. We know. We've seen your tires. <laughs> exactly. Here's the finished product. So you like it? A lot. Still need to do a lot more. Yeah, it gives it a little character though. Yeah, that's for sure. There's food. Next thing you know, your whole car's gonna be clean. <laughs> Try not to. Yeah. I just need to learn how to do it, how food does it. Yeah. You take it through the, the car wash on base, a little, uh oh. Uh -oh. I, I Neos. Neos starts to clean under there? No, because it's under like the lip kind of portion, so it's hard, hard for the roller to get it. Tell Neos to hand wash it. Yeah, normally I have to schedule that. No, you don't. You don't. I just roll my truck up in there and say hand wash. The one I go to, you have to schedule Go to the one right outside the base. Okay. Just go in there and tell them hand wash. So we're about to play Tetris right now, move these cars around. So this 300, I don't know if you guys remember this car, but this car used to belong to none other than this guy right here. Because you look good in that car. <laughs> but that was before these spikes were put on here and this, this front spoiler. I mean, to each his own, but I don't think those touches look good. I don't know what Malik is doing. No, I'm not moving my bike. None that. Just kidding. None they are. <laughs> Just messing with you, man. Why, Mitch? I'll get some that. You want your car back? No. You sure? What are you buying next? Not telling. You're not going to tell the nope. people? Nope. Get the people what they want, fool. Shoot. They can keep watching your TV. Okay. Subscribe and hit that bell. One day I will you tell heard you. Him? One day I will tell you. <laughs> you heard it from Fu. He said subscribe and hit the bell so that you know what he's buying when he decides to reveal it. Yeah, I don't like what he did with that stuff after you sold it to him. Ah, the shop cat's back. Obachan was looking for you. He's gotten bigger. Hey buddy. You missed me? 
Anyway, I'll cut you guys back on in a minute. Like I always say, you never know what's gonna show up at the shop. So, that is 300Z pull up. Now this 300Z's been here before. He actually sent it into the shop and it had a wide body kit installed on it. Company called Liberty Walk out of either Tokyo or Osaka did the work. They have two shops. I'm assuming he probably went to the one in Osaka since Osaka is closer to us than Tokyo is. But then again, you never know. He could have shipped it all the way up to Tokyo. But yeah, you never know what's gonna show up at the shop. That's why I love coming up here. Oh, and the owner of the uh, Land Cruiser showed up as well. The truck that I love. It's this guy's truck. But he literally beats this thing out the field rock climbing. Hey, Foo, did you ask him if he wants to uh, race? <laughs> in the rock, if you will. No, not in the rocks. On the street. It's not fair if he's in the rocks. Is he getting a new bumper built? Yeah. Makoto's prefabbing a, a new bumper for him. Rear bumper. You can see one in the front. Oh, the one in the front is done already? So Makoto's already built the uh, bumper on the front side. That's heavy duty right there. And he's building the one on the back as well. But like I said, this guy actually beats this truck out in the field, rock climbing. And I absolutely love this truck. This setup is crazy. Guess where we're going? Hungry. Makoto is hangry. Seven, eleven. Ikibun. Damn! Damn! <laughs> we're headed to lunch. We're gonna go grab some bentos from 7 Eleven and come back to the shop, eat, and get back to work. Cut you guys back on in a bit. Alright, I'm back. And we're finally done at the shop, and I'm about to take my butt back to the crib. So I figured I'd try this bike vlog again. Not 100% sure how the sound's gonna come out. Like I said, I changed microphones and changed the position of the microphone. So hopefully, what I saw on those two YouTube channels that I was checking out works. But they did say that anything over 60 miles per hour, which I already knew, would uh, still introduce wind noise. It also has a lot to do with the helmet. And I know I've mentioned it, this helmet is extremely windy. Which is a good thing, it means it has good ventilation uh, for riding, but it's just not good for vlogging.
here. I wonder what they're doing to the park. This is a park over here. I don't know what they're doing to it though. Oh, maybe they're putting new flower bed up planters in. Dude, you got the right of way. What are you doing? He's busy looking at everything around him except for what he should be looking for. I'm sure you all couldn't tell how close he was as far as when he pulled out or the distance I won't say close but the distance between he and I when he pulled out but he looked right at me and pulled out anyway knowing that the distance wasn't that great yeah he had enough clearance to where I would have to slow down but the fact of the matter is I shouldn't have to slow down behind you when you pull out if I'm doing the speed limit. Actually, I might have been going a little above the speed limit, but anyway. Since I'm stuck in this traffic, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. If you're new to the channel, and even if you've been watching the channel, aren't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell to all, so that you know when I drop a new video. Share, like, comment, all of that. Remember, 50K by May, and someone will win a free round trip ticket to Japan. So, you guys get those numbers up hey somebody's gonna win but until the next video your boy is out Arrgh.